lovely. Thank you for joining me on Ritual Life today. My name is Rachel Abelpence. For those of you out there that don't know who I am, and if this is your first time on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, thank you so much for joining me on Facebook or YouTube. Wherever you are watching me, I want to say thank you so much. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a mother of four, so I'm a mum of four. I'm a mother of four, wonderful, wonderful children, and I'm an educator and entrepreneur. I've been self-employed for the last 10 years. Prior to me being self-employed, I used to be a business studies teacher, and I did that for three years. And I decided I was ready to go out by myself and see if I could start a business by myself. So Ritual was born. So Ritual really is all about helping those out there, mums, dads, individuals, students, anyone looking to launch, run and build a highly successful business online and offline. I've been named also top global marketing expert by Huffington Post. So I hope what I share on my channel, on my YouTube channel or my Facebook page, but what I share every time I post anything on my videos is really for my heart desire is to help you guys out there, to help you, you know, take your life, your personal life and your business life to the next level because I totally understand how it is because when I started out in business, for the first six years, I didn't make any money whatsoever. But I was lucky enough to have a partner who was willing to work while I stayed at home and found a way to start generating income online. So Ritual really is all about giving you tools, systems, and articles, audio, podcasts, whatever you need to help you launch, run, and grow a highly successful business. If you have visited my website, you would know that my website is not going live to the 28th of January 2017. So I would love for you to visit back and take a look at my multimedia platform. It's going to be some exciting things for you. And Ritual is not all about business. It's also about your personal life. Because like I mentioned, I'm a mum of four, so I really understand and I really want for myself Tools that's also going to help me live a holistic life, live life on my terms. That's my motto, live life on my terms. So that's what I try and bring by my content and what I share on my YouTube channel, Facebook and all my social platforms. So in today's session, I'm going to talk about you are your own salvation. Interesting, yes? You are your own salvation. I'm going to cover a couple of different things. I've been in thought for the last, I'll say probably a week and a half, and I've been thinking, I'm, you know, mulling over some things in my mind. You know, we're coming into the new year of 2017. A lot of people might not have had a great year in 2016, and so they really want 2017 to be much better. So I want to share with you, you are your own salvation. Because I believe what I'm going to share is going to help you really live 2017 from a different perspective, from a different paradigm, and start investing in yourself. Because if you don't invest in yourself, no one will. So let me start sharing some things I've been thinking about for the past couple of weeks about you are your own salvation. Around about six years ago, I wrote a book with my husband, which was entitled Van Diego, The Art of Successful Living. It was quite an interesting book, and I'm actually rewriting it again, so I want to put it out on Amazon. I mean, when I first wrote this book, I'd never written a book before in my life. But a word kept coming to my mind for six months, and I didn't really know what the word was, and I thought, I need to kind of find out what this word means. So I spoke to my husband about it and said, have you heard of this book? So I said, you know, do you know this book? And he said, you've never heard of the book before. 
So as you do, I went to Google and I typed in that word and the word was banker. Banker kept coming into my mind. So I checked on Google and I found that it was a word, but it was a word in a different language. But I'm going to show you a little bit about that um, later on in other videos. But what I want to talk about, because this is kind of like the introduction to what I'm going to share with you today about you are your own salvation, is the art of successful living. And I covered a chapter in the art of successful living, which was called The Universe is on Your Side. So your experience in life may make it difficult to look at the world around you, with an optimistic outlook, how would you like to discover the truth that the universe is actually on your side? And that was my introduction to my book, The Universe is on Your Side. So I'm going to talk to you today about 15 laws of the universe. Because if you really want to make this year a successful year, you need to first understand the basics. You need to go right back to the beginning. Like I mentioned, you are your own salvation. What a lot of us do, and I used to do, say about seven, eight years ago, was I was always waiting for help and looking for help outside of myself. Anytime I got myself into a situation, or life became difficult, or life became hard, I would always look outside myself. And even going back when I first got married to my husband, we were always relying on his mother for money, for food, because we didn't have the understanding that everything that we needed was already deposited in our hearts. So it was kind of like a revelation and a journey that we had to go through to understand that what we sought for, what we seek, was already inside of us. So you are your salvation and you have to understand that for you, to move forward in life and for you to make your dreams a reality, you have to seek for the answer within. And I'm going to share with you the 15 laws of the universe to help you get that understanding that you are your salvation. So the first law of the universe is the law of love. Simple, the law of love. Now, have you been in love before? Have you been in love with a human being? A girl, a boy, a child, a pet? Of course, we've all been in love at some point in our life. But did you know that the law of love was one of the laws of the universe? Well, it is. If you understand that when you give love, when you choose to give love, and when you choose to accept love back, that you are tapping in to one of the laws of the universe. And that law will help you understand and break through in your life the situations that is beyond you. What the 15 laws is, the 15 laws is going to go on even if you don't know it's there or not. It's a bit like gravity. Gravity exists, but we don't know it exists until we test it. Until we throw ourselves off the cliff and we're going to do quantum jumping, or we go flying, you know, we fly out of a plane, we jump out of it with a parachute. That's when we realize that gravity exists. And that's the same with the 15 laws of the universe. It's always there and it will never leave. It's only when we acknowledge it and tap into it that we experience the power of the law of the universe. So the first one is the law of love. Okay, so second one, the law of attraction. Now we've heard a lot of this law of attraction from the secret. If you watch the movie, if you read the book about the law of attraction. What the secret kind of failed to do was to kind of give people an understanding of the law of attraction. Now I have started to live this 15 laws for the last three years. But really, I was living this law since I was a child. My mum was living the laws. I'm not sure if she knew she was living the laws, but she definitely um, lived an example of the 15 laws of the universe. So what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction basically is what you think, what you speak, 
you attract into your life. So basically, we are like a magnet. So anything that we think and everything that we say, we attract. Now, don't be afraid. It's not as simple as that, that we choose whatever we think and whatever we say, we attract into our life. No. Whatever we think and put feeling to, we will attract into our life. And whatever we say and put feeling to, we will attract into our life. You know, it's like, if you are angry, okay, and you're thinking angry, have you ever noticed that sometimes you actually start feeling angry and you start acting angry because your brain do not actually understand that you actually are not angry. It's only because we actually start to think that we're angry that our body, our atmosphere started, started acting that we were angry. So it's important that you understand the law of attraction. Remember, I'm talking about you are your own salvation. For you to break through in your life in 2017, you first have to understand for everything that you seek or want in your life, you are going to have to get it yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't rely on other people or that like I'm talking about the universe is on your side, the introduction I talked about at the beginning. But what I'm trying to say is that you are powerful, we are powerful. Everything that we need for our lives to be successful, everything that we need for our lives to be happy has already been deposited into our life. So it's actually us tapping into that seed, tapping into that treasure and opening that treasure box to find out that we are our own salvation. So understanding the 15 laws of the universe will help you live a happy and successful life. So the first one we covered was the law of love. The second one I mentioned was the law of attraction, which talks about manifesting the things in your life and what you think and what you say is key and is important. So take some time before you say, before you think about anything, why am I thinking like this? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I saying this? Now, it's not going to happen overnight, okay? I'm not expecting you that as soon as you watch this video that I'm sharing with you, then overnight you're just going to be this amazing guru and you're going to have it all under your bed, the, the 15 laws of the universe. Of course not. It's step by step, bit by bit. But once we understand it and once we get started, you will start seeing some changes in your life. I have seen some changes in my life following the 15 laws of the universe. Let's talk about the third law. The third law is the, the law of vibration, energy, frequency. Have you heard the word being in flow? That is the law of the vibration. Now, how does the law of vibration work? Interesting. You know, a lot of people think that we just spend money and time. But what we really are spending is our energy. When we give our energy to something, even if it's not physical energy and it's mental energy, we're still giving out our energy. Let, you know, I did a video not that long ago and I went for a walk and I was literally using my energy to go for that walk. Even when I take some time out and I sit down and I plan what my project is going to be for my business, I find that by the end of that session, that two hours or three hours hour session, I haven't moved anywhere, I haven't done any exercise, all I have done was think and plan out a project. And I'm worn out, I'm tired and I just literally want to go to bed because we are literally using energy. So the law of number three, the law of vibration is understanding your energy. So that means don't waste your energy on things that actually are not important in your life. Some of us might be doing things and using that energy on things that actually doesn't help us or aid us to take us to the place that we are going. Some of us might be in a relationship that is using our energy and is wearing us out. Don't forget the law of vibration is again similar as the law of attraction. What you use your energy to 
okay? When you're using your energy, when you're sparing your energy, like loosely on relationships or um, activities that doesn't age you, then you actually bring in the law of vibration of anger, of upset and depression because you're giving an energy in a place that you should not be. So when you understand the law of vibration that whatever you vibrate, whatever you give your energy to, it will come back to you. So what are you doing in your life that's actually not helping you, taking you to where you want to go? Do you know what? If we stop and think, hmm, then we'll probably realize that we're doing a lot of things that actually is not helping us to move us forward to us living the dream life that we want. I know I do it. So I definitely want to be in 2017 on the right side of living my passion and living my dream. So I'm going to take some time to evaluate what am I using my law of vibration for? What am I giving my energy to? Is it positive thing that's going to help me take me to where I need to go? And some of you might be thinking, how do I identify if they are positive things? How are you feeling? The law of vibration is also based on your feeling. If you're feeling negative in your workplace, in a relationship, in a job, you know, then you probably are giving your energy to something that is not beneficial to you. The fourth one, the law of resonance. This means basically agreement, agreeing with yourself. The first agreement that you need to do in your life is agreeing with yourself. Agreeing that you can achieve the things that you desire to achieve in your life. What tends to happen, and it's happened with me, and I've noticed it in my life, and you know what, when we're talking about the 15 laws of the universe, the first thing that we need to do is be honest with ourselves. No one's going to see you. No one knows where you are right now. The only person that knows the truth about your life is you. So you're not going to harm yourself to be honest with yourself and ask this question, where are you right now? Now, so when we're talking about the law of resonance, try to pronounce it, resonance, it's talking about agreement, agreeing with yourself. Some of us step out and do something like, okay, New Year's resolution. I don't do any New Year's resolutions, but with the New Year's resolution, someone said, I'm going to lose some weight. I'm going to make sure in 2017, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to lose some weight. We say those words, but what we tend to do that we don't do is that we don't agree with ourselves. We don't have any agreement that we are going to do it. Now, how can you make an agreement that it sticks? How can you make a goal, right? We're talking about the 15 laws of the universe to make you have a great, great year this year. So how can you agree with something? How can you make an agreement, a goal, and stick to it? So if you, for example, said that you, in 2017, I'm going to start going to the gym and you're going to lose some weight. Maybe get an agreement partner if you've got a partner at home or write it down. Write down your goal of you are going to go to the gym once a week, once every two weeks, you know, every day. Whatever your goal is, what you can achieve, write it down. Because when you're writing it down, again we're talking about the law of vibration, We've got to use all these laws, all these 15 laws, is to make sure that we live a successful life. Again, just like gravity, gravity is there. It's only until we tap into gravity, we see gravity work for us. And that's the same with the 15 laws. The 15 laws are in existence right now in the universe, even if you don't believe it or not. But what I'm trying to share with you today is to give you an understanding, to give you a glimpse of the laws of the universe. So you can use them and aid them into your life so you can start building a successful 2017. So write your agreement down. You've spoken that you want to go to the gym, write it down. Get an agreement partner 
and tell them that this is what you want to do. You want to go to the gym and you want to start living a healthy lifestyle. You know what I do? I also record my voice telling myself that I am ready to go to the gym. And sometimes when I go to bed, I replay the recording on my voice telling myself that I'm going to the gym. You have to use all the tools out there to help you on the track to live a successful life. Remember, you are your own salvation. No one's going to drag you to the gym. No one's going to force you to go to the gym. The only person that's going to give you that strength and that ability to go to the gym is yourself. So let's talk about the fifth law of the universe. And the fifth law is reciprocity. And this is talking about acceptance and interchange. Acceptance and interchange. This law is all about accepting yourself. A lot of us can get caught up in the outward. Yes, I'm dressed up today. And I'm dressed up with my earrings and my hair's all done all nice. And I think it's good to make an effort on how you look on the outside. But the most important thing about us as human beings is like internal. How are we looking internally? Are we taking time to discover, to search, and to look into our eternal life? We are some of us can live some busy lives and doesn't give us that enough time to take some time out and do some internal work. And it's kind of scary doing some internal work. You know, it's kind of difficult to start. I remember when I started, I wasn't the kind of person that reflected on internal things. I was a workaholic and everything I did was outward. I'm very focused. So a lot of the things I used to do was on outward stuff. It was only probably like 10 years ago when I started my journey of living holistically and, and living from in and out that I started to learn to take some time out to do some internal work with myself. When you learn to take some time out and do some internal work with yourself, you soon find out that you become more of a healthy and wholesome person. Let's recap about going to number six in the law of the universe. So the first one we talked about was the law of love. The second one we talked about was the law of attraction. The third one was the law of vibration. The law of resonance. Number five, the law of reciprocity. And number six, we're going to talk about the law of polarity. Now, polarity, I'm sure you've heard of yin and yang. You know, the Chinese uh, sign where they have a black on one side and a white on the other side. That's the kind of sign they have for the yin and yang. And we're talking about the law of polarity. And this means basically opposites. You heard the saying, opposites attract. Now, how can this law affect us? And how can we use this law successfully in our life to make sure that we're living a successful life? So, like I mentioned just a while back, that I was a workaholic. And I never took that time to spend time with my family, to go for walks, just to do simple things and build relationships and build, cultivate friendships with my children and my husband. So when I'm not doing that, I found out that I wasn't becoming happy. Even though I was trying to build a business, I was trying to make my business grow, there was a time when also I had to take some time out and some time out with my family and also some time out with myself. So that's kind of like the yin and yang. You know, all work and no play make Jack a dull boy. It's one of the nursery rhymes that we have here in the UK. So it's learning to have and live a life of yin and yang. If you give 50% to one thing, make sure you give 50% to the other thing. So if you're a workaholic and you're working all the time, and you don't take some time out to build relationships, you don't take some time out to get to know yourself, you don't take some time out to just relax and rest, then you're probably going to start seeing some frictions in your life. When we talk about the law of the universe, like I mentioned, the law of the universe is always there. And we see the symptoms in our lives in many different ways. Now the symptoms might be different for me to what the symptoms might be for you. But we all have symptoms if we are honest. We all have situations and circumstances in our life that 
raises up his ugly head and we see the result through an accident or a word that was said or a split up, whatever it is. So my symptoms and your symptoms will be different. But like I said, the law of attraction is still in existence. So let's talk about the next law, and this is law number seven, and the law of cause and effect. What you sow, you will reap. And it's important, this is actually one of the laws, the laws of cause and effect. My mum used to always say when I used to point the finger, it's like you're pointing one finger, but you've got three other fingers pointing right back at you. So if you want people to love you, then be a lovely person. If you want people to treat you nicely, then you've got to learn to treat people nice as well. The law of cause and effect, I mean, it's just a natural, basic, common sense, I think. If you're a nasty person, I don't know how you expect people to like you if you are nasty and horrible, and treat people bad. And I don't want to be dramatic or negative, but it's true. We all know people that we don't want to be around. You know, those kind of people when you see them coming, you're like, oh no, here they come again with the negativity, putting you down, and all those kind of things. So the law of cause and effect is all about what you sow, you shall reap. So let's talk about the law number eight of the universe is the law of procession. And this talks about action and momentum. This is key and it's important when we're talking about building a successful life in 2017. I mentioned the law number two, the law of attraction, which talks about, and it's all involved with how you think, what you think, what you say, it's all about mental energy, what you put your mind to, what you focus on. But when you're talking about the law of procession, it's all about action and momentum. What's beautiful about the law, the law of the universe, 15 laws of the universe, is that they all work in harmony together. You can't have the law of attraction and not have the law of procession. It doesn't work in life if you just sit and um. Um, and focus on something. There's going to be times when you actually have to move and take action on it. Remember, this video is all about you are your own salvation. And so why I'm sharing the law, the 15 laws of the universe is that these laws are key foundation in the world. The key foundation in humanity. If we understand these laws, again, you can pause the video or you can go on Google and you can check it out yourself and take some time to read the 15 laws of the universe. There's many, many other laws, but these 15 laws are the basic ones for you to understand. If you can understand these 15 laws and master these 15 laws in your life, I guarantee you that you will start living a successful life. So there's some times in our life when we need to move, when we need to go, and there is some time in our life when we need to stay and meditate and think upon the thing. So again, talking about the yin and the yang, one without the other does not work well for us. Let's talk about law of the universe number nine, and that's the law of growth, the law of evolution. We are always growing. I heard a statement, if we're not growing, then we are dying. There must become a point in our life where we must be growing day by day. I mean, if, can you imagine, now can you imagine if we were born like we were and we grew from one to five and we just stayed there, we didn't grow any further from the age of one to five, it would be disastrous. Crazy as that might sound, a lot of us and some of us don't take out time to do the law of growth. Take some time out to actually develop ourselves. Maybe learn a new skill. Maybe learn a new language. I know for me, as soon as I left school, I wasn't looking forward to investing in any more education. The problem with that is because what we were taught at school 
actually doesn't pop up in our everyday life. I mean, where do we use algebra? Where do we use calculus? We don't. So if you were taught some basic things like the law of the universe, then I know for sure that a lot of us would want to I be mean, more willing to develop and learn more and do more further education in ourselves. So the law of growth is important, the law of evolution. We have to constantly be evolving, we have to constantly be growing, because if we're not learning, if we're not growing, then we are dying. Number 10 law, the law of abundance, divine order. Now I don't know what you call divine order. Is it God? Is it Yahweh? Is it Hare Krishna? Is it Buddha? You know, a lot of people have a vision or a idea of this divine order. Again, it's all about the law of attraction. Whatever we believe and whatever we put our, again we talked about our vibration, the law of vibration, which is energy, it's our frequency, it's our flow, whatever we put that energy, that thought, that mind to, will come back in our life. So if we believe in a divine God that wants to do good for us, then it will attract that good that you are seeking. If you believe in a Buddha that helps you um, have a wonderful life, helps you grow, then you will attract that thought into that thing. Now a lot of people might disagree with me, but again, we're talking about the law of the universe, 15 laws of the universe, just like the air that we breathe. We sometimes don't see the air that we breathe, but for sure we know it's there because you know what? We are still alive. So it really doesn't matter what you are focusing on, if that thing is real or, you know, Buddha versus God. That's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about giving your attention to your specific life and doing what works for you. And so the law of abundance is all about believing and knowing that the universe, the world, is abundant. There's enough to go around for every single one of us. It all depends if we tap into it. Now I'm going to tell you a quick story. I've been living in my house that I'm living in now for the last four and a half years. Prior to that, I was renting the renting accommodation and I did own a house. I used to own a house, but I lost that house due to circumstances. I lost the house. And I got depressed for maybe two years. I wasn't eating well, I wasn't sleeping well, and things just got worse and worse and worse. One minute my fridge wasn't working, then my cooker wasn't working, then my car wasn't working, then the electricity would break down, lots of things were happening in my life. And then I realised for some kind of miracle, which I had to thank the universe for, I had this light bulb moment of, I wonder if I thought differently about my circumstances, if something would change. That was the thought I had, simple thought like that. I wonder if I would thought differently, if I think differently about my situations, will things change? So I got up, I went upstairs and had a shower. I hadn't had a shower for about a week, because obviously I was living in depression, not actually knowing I was living in depression. Went upstairs, had a shower, and I started to tidy my house. Only two months later, I held the keys to my own house. And that's the power of the 15 laws of the universe that I'm talking about. We live in an abundant world. Money doesn't have any favors. Money doesn't say, oh, I'm not gonna go to you. I'm not gonna make you rich. I'm gonna make you poor. Money has no favors. It's all about how we view our world that we live in and how we view the understanding that there is abundance and there's enough to go round. We just have to tap into it. The world has been going for many, many, many years. Look at an oak tree. An oak tree doesn't even die. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. And its roots get deeper and deeper and deeper because those roots are searching 
searching for minerals, they're going to go deeper and deeper and deeper because they know there's an abundance of minerals underneath the earth that's going to enable that big massive oak tree to stay stable and it's the same as you. We and you and me and I have abundance in the world. There is enough abundance in the universe. We just have to tap into it. We just need to start believing that whatever is out there for us, we can get it ourselves. You are your own salvation. Let's talk about the law number 11 as the law of soul purpose. This is pivotal one of the laws, the law of soul purpose. This is all about you. Who are you? Why have you been put on this earth? What is your mission? What have you been put here to achieve and overcome? Now this kind of question can be a bit scary for some, but nevertheless it is true. You were created for something. You were created to do something. If you were created for that, you wouldn't be here. So what is your mission? What is your calling, some people would like to say? What is your destiny? Do you know what your destiny is? If you don't know your destiny, this is one of the laws and you need to take some time this year to discover and find out why you are here. Why have you been put on this earth and why you were born? Because you are an answer to someone. You are a treasure to someone. You are a treasure to the world and you need to start letting your light shine bright. Number 12 law of the universe, the law of unity. This is so difficult in the world we live in now where people look at colour, they look at race, and look at the outward rather than inward. You know, in 2017, I can't believe that we still fight over skin color. It grieves my heart to know that we still fight over skin color. The law of the unity is all about learning, first of all, to be one with ourselves. When we learn to love ourselves and learn to be one with ourselves, then we can learn to love our neighbour as our self. We miss the fundamental thing of learning to know who we are, talked about the law of soul and purpose, and then learning to be one with ourselves, then we can learn to love every individual, doesn't matter where country they come from, what language they speak, what background, we will learn the law of unity. So if you want your life to be successful in 2017 and beyond, it's learning to tap into these 15 laws that I'm sharing with you. And one of them is the law of unity. Who do you need to make peace with today? Think about it. Let's talk about the law of intention, belief and allowance. The law of intention. The law of intention is similar to the law of attraction. You know I use that example of you going to the gym, that you want to go to the gym, and so you spoke that you want to go to the gym, and I said to you about writing it down. And another law we talked about, the law of procession, which talks about action and movement and momentum. So the law of intention is the same thing. It's putting the emotion, putting the emphasis, putting the strength, putting the action into your word, to your spoken word that you've spoken. So the law of intention is saying, I am going to do this. I believe I'm going to do this. I know there's going to be an outcome. I know I can achieve this business. I know I can be successful. I know I can be wealthy. It's all about belief. And when we talk about the law of attention, it's not something that you do once. It's something that you constantly, constantly, constantly keep going at, keep going at, keep going at. If you see and read any story of any successful person, let's just take an example of the gentleman that started KFC. Now, he went around for many, many years 
where people wouldn't want to eat his chicken. And then he started taking his chicken in the back of his boots to start giving it to people, literally giving them free so he can literally get rid of the chicken. And then, after he started to get a bit popular, he needed funding to actually start KFC. He started KFC at the age of 63, over 60. Now, many people over 60, they want to just sit and chill and relax, keep the beat up, type. it's time for retirement. But he decided that, you know what, I still haven't found the law of soul and purpose. I still haven't lived the law of soul and purpose, the law of abundance. So, doesn't matter if I'm 60, I'm going to try it now. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter where you are in this life. What's the main thing about the law, the 15 laws of the universe, that you can start them any time? It doesn't matter if you haven't been living with the law of the universe. The powerful, amazing, wonderful thing about the universe is as soon as you tap into it, it will start working for you. Number 14, the law of free will. Free will, we know about the law of free will. Many of us kind of use the law of free will, and I definitely like using the law of free will. But some of us don't understand that that free will comes with a price. That free will is a gift to us. So make sure that you're using your free will wisely. And number 15 law of the universe is the law of harmony. And the law of harmony actually goes right back and covers all 14 laws that I've talked about previously. So let's talk about those 15 laws again. Let's recap because this number 15 is the law of harmony. Learning to balance the whole 15 laws of the universe to start working with you and using it in your life. First one again is the law of love. The second one is the law of attraction. The law of vibration, number three. The law of resonance, number four. Number five, the law of reciprocity. Number six, the law of polarity. Number seven, the law of cause and effect. Number eight, the law of procession. Number nine, the law of growth. Number 10, the law of abundance. Number 11, the law of soul purpose. Number 12, the law of unity. Number 13, the law of intention. Number 14, the law of free will. And last but not least, number 15, the law of harmony. When we learn to use this law, the 15 laws of the universe, in different aspects of our life. Now you not, might not be able to use the law, that like all 15 laws at one go in your life every day, but it's understanding the 15 laws and interwining yourself, interweaving yourself with the laws and allowing the laws of the universe to help you become more of a holistic person because again the law of the universe are there if we don't believe it or not just like gravity but when we start tapping into the laws and start allowing the laws to start affecting our life i guarantee you you will start seeing a change in the way you think in the way you feel and also practically you start seeing some changes in your personal life and in your business life Thank you so much for joining me on Richard Wolf World today. If you love my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And why don't you follow me on all my other social media platforms? I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, and of course, I'm on my website as well. Thank you so much for watching me today. Leave a comment and let me know if this has really helped you. I will leave a link of all the 15 laws of the universe. You can go and research and do your own research and have a look online. And let's get started and start making 2017 and the many, many years to come the best life that we have ever lived. Start living life 
on your turn. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.